Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I'm in Gary's Banana Field. And look at that, the bananas are on the ground. It fell. Look how the limb came down because they're so heavy. Oh my goodness. Well, don't worry. That's not where the hummingbird nest is. Let's go take a peek at the hummingbird nest. Let me get out of here and I'll explain to you all the things Gary had to do this week because it's almost been a week and the hummingbirds are doing okay. So let's take a look. So that is a bunch of bananas that by their sheer weight, the limb collapsed, which is very common when you have bananas. If it gets very heavy, they start to come down. Well, guess what? Gary found out that the same thing was happening to the one where the hummingbird made a nest on. Maybe not the best place to make a nest. So what he did was he came out here the other day and he makes these forks. He makes these stakes and what they do is they hold the banana plant up because it doesn't always come down, but a lot of times they can because remember, once a plant, the banana plant throws a flower and has a bunch of bananas, the plant is done. It grows very little, it will not throw any more bananas, and it will topple over in nature and decay back into the ground as the new pups, and that's what they're, they call, they're called, will start to grow and they will throw their bananas. So he came out here right after I did the video, a couple days later, and found out that it was starting to topple down. It was leaning towards the ground. So he put this up and this is now in the ground there's two stakes there. See how they're crossed? He made it where they're crossed. This will hold the plant up now until he actually takes the bananas down and chops the banana plant out. That's what happens after the bananas are done. He takes the plant, chops it up, and he composts it right under the other plants. This provides food for the banana plants. So I wanted to do an update to show you that Mom has been taking care of the babies. They are doing fine. Let's take a really quick peek because she's off looking for food. There's no problem. The plant will stay up. She'll be gone out of here within one to two weeks and then the babies will be flying around. She will not be building another nest there. A lot of times they will double nest. She will not because that will end up coming down. I'm, a lot of times what they do is they sometimes leave this nest, go build a nest somewhere else, and their third nest, they will come back and build it where the first nest was. But that's not going to happen here. She'll have to build it somewhere else. Probably a reason why a lot of hummingbirds don't nest in bananas is because once the bananas are ripe, and it, this is getting close, this bunch, then the plant is done. It's not a stable place to have a nest. So I just wanted to do an update. I want to take off. I hear her now squeaking around here letting me know that she wants me gone. And both babies are alive. So both babies are doing great. She's feeding them well. She's got plenty of food. I am I'm now feeding thousands in my kitchen window. No joke. I can barely keep the feeders full all over the property. I am going through about four to five gallons a day of food now that I make. A quarter of a cup of sugar to one cup of water, but of course I have to make it now by the gallon. All is good. We'll come back and hopefully we'll be able to see the babies flying around in the next two weeks because boy, do they grow quick. And I've already seen them inspecting other places around the house like they did in the past, building nests all over around our house in the front porch, on the back porch, on my kitchen window. They build and build. Well, they've already been looking for new places to build. So this is gonna be a phenomenal year for hummingbirds. So that's the update this week on the hummingbird nests and how the chicks are doing and they're doing great. I'll keep you up to date on what's going on and this will be really fun. In the meantime, like I said, Gary's not working out here. He's not doing much in here and everything looks good. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye everybody. Bye-bye.